just his left shoulder, he would twitch it, and you would go flying to his left shoulder, and he would dip under and around and be gone. Redshirt freshman year, played yeah. against Michael Vick. That was fucking awesome. He was the best. Best in the world. Was he, when, the, was he the fastest, fastest thing you've person. ever seen in your life? He and Santana Moss. Mm. They and San, hold on, whoa, whoa. Santana Moss is a world class track athlete. Yep. Michael Vick may have been faster with the football in his hand. Definitely more elusive, but straight ahead San, is like I tried chasing him down Santana Moss, and he just kept getting further and further away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I, I wasn't slow. Th this is I this wasn't is, world class track though. This is back in the days of the Big East though, like when the, it was the, the U, Big East. The it was U. the U. It was Virginia Tech. Yeah. Who else? Syracuse was, in there? was yep. really good. Yep. They were started to decline when I. Yeah, my last few years. Pitt was up and down. Mm -hmm. Fitzgerald was there when I was there. He was. You played against him, yeah. That's right. Yeah, but yeah, I, I played against a lot of a lot of fun, a lot of good people. Kevin Jones from the area. He was a number one running back recruit in the country, at the time. What What do you do? In the open field, you're a linebacker. You run probably like a four six forty. Four what, five. What, you ran a four five. Four five. I'm sorry. I gotta, I gotta take a tenth <laughs> off that. But still, you run a four yeah, five, and yeah. Michael Vick's coming at you in the open field. Stare at his hips. That's it. Stare at his hips, and if you blink, he's gone. Yeah. He was, and he, you can see it. You can literally see it because he was so subtle, like, and he was lefty. So he was smooth, subtle, but he would he would do this thing where he just twitched his left shoulder. Mm. Just his left shoulder, he would twitch it, and you would go flying to his left shoulder, and he would dip under and around and be gone. And it's like, all you could, as like, I remember going into that game, I was like, if I get the chance, I'm just staring at his waist because your waist doesn't lie. Your waist is your legs. It doesn't lie. Mm. And the, fortunately, the last play of the first half, I came in on a blitz and I was at his backside. Normally, he could feel it and he felt me too late and tried that move. And I my, put my face mask right, like aiming for his... Uh, right below his lower back and above his ass. It was like there was a, a target like this. I was like, I'm hitting that. And I, I was able to to bring him down. Yeah, that was fun. Do you know where he got his quarterback style from? His earliest? Do I know? Yeah. His earliest influences. I mean, it had to be Randall. It has to be in there. I to mean, I, I can't speak to Steve guys who Young. were in, in the Steve league. Steve Young was yeah. a lefty and moved similar in that way i'm sure he watched guys in the league and i'm sure there's a whole bunch of places he uh, kind of drew from and then a lot of it was natural talent but his cousin was aaron brooks oh yeah yeah virginia but if you remember aaron brooks was a long time starter for the saints he was a decent quarterback in the league he wasn't particularly mobile he wasn't known as like a runner or anything mm -hmm. aaron brooks down in hampton virginia where they grew up like newport news Aaron Brooks' crosstown rival was a really good quarterback. Oh, was, Allen Iverson. Yeah, 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 yeah. AI. So yeah. Michael would watch right. Aaron Brooks play against Allen Iverson in the crosstown rivalry. And if you watch Allen Iverson's high school tape, you're watching Michael Vick. They are very, oh, very much the same guy.